Morning, it's Adil Fazal here, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing you a review of the uh, European markets for the uh, trading session Tuesday, the 14th of February 2017. Please be sure to visit CFDs.com and visit Trade Signal, signals and market updates from leading providers at www.tradesignal.com. You can certainly download the app at the Google Play and the Apple App Store. Okay, in terms of uh, numbers, let's start off with the uh, European markets, so you say Asian markets first of all, after yes, yesterday's stellar rally. Uh, Asian markets certainly giving back those gains. Uh, the Nikkei down 220 points, down 1.2%, with the USD JPY back below uh, the uh, key 114 level. The Shanghai more or less flat, and the Hang, Hang Seng certainly negative. India certainly negative as well. Singapore negative. So Asian markets certainly uh, uh, lacking faith in the uh, US market rally. Really, the market rally yesterday, one could argue, was more of a short squeeze as opposed to organic growth or organic led uh, demand for equities, given the uh, given the uh, reprieve over Japan and Canada, given Mr. Trump's rhetoric, okay, in terms of trade protectionism and tariffs, etc. Okay, so certainly uh, reprieve. Now, USD JPY still falling below 114, okay. Uh, Nikkei certainly giving back those gains as well. Uh, and also we have Mr. Flynn now potentially resigning. So again, a potential domino effect in Mr. Trump's administration going forward. The political uncertainty certainly increases. We also have concerns with Le Pen, uh, still exist with suburbs potentially uh, being called scum and racist rhetoric back and forth, okay? Certainly isn't, doesn't, or doesn't bode well, especially with regards to uh, German elections as well, French elections, Netherlands elections. Uh, again, the uncertainty certainly has increased. German inflation this morning, again, certainly increased uh, on the uh, on the up uh, in terms of uh, uh, Mr. Draghi and his ECB uh, tapering or QE program. Certainly stronger arguments there for potential tapering. Uh, German GDP actually came in slightly weaker, okay, uh, in terms of uh, economic data. So, again, certainly not, not good. Uh, in terms of oil as well, uh, rig count certainly increasing and therefore uh, exerting further pressure on the uh, the oil sector. Rolls-Royce earnings certainly coming in on the lower side, EDF as well, guiding lower. Mr. Kaplan, Fed Kaplan overnight, certainly indicating the hawkish stance, okay, arguing for uh, further rate cuts. Uh, Chinese inflation data as well, higher overnight. Again, concerns going forward with regards to China's stimulus program and uh, potential uh, hawkish uh, uh, PBOC. Again, any hawkish or any uh, perceived threat of a hawkish stance from central banks is, is equity market negative. Okay, the Shanghai Nikkei certainly closing lower. Uh, and of, like I mentioned, uh, Flynn resigning as well. Italian uh, and Netherlands GDP certainly coming on the weaker side. And we have a massive loss reported by Toshiba. So, uh, Certainly a barrage of negative uh, news events there, certainly arguing to the uh, downside from my perspective. So how do we interpret that in terms of equities and the potential technical picture? Now, let's start with the German DAX, okay? So looking at the German DAX here on the daily chart, okay, you have the uh, gap holding at uh, 11.815, you have uh, Fib retrace resistance here at uh, Fib 75%. Certainly holding two, so looking for a resistance here uh, to to certainly hold. Let's go on to the 60-minute chart. The German DAX now. German DAX has held that uh, key uh, gap level resistance thus far. You have multiple resistance below, so, so uh, gaps below. Should I say certainly that certainly need closing. Now we've broken out this bullish channel. Uh, it's interesting to see now how the market reacts. Now again, you have that unfilled gap below. Certainly need targeting at uh, 11,660. Do we actually go and close that? gap that's the question okay so all eyes in that potential gap below in terms of the french cac let's move on to the french cac now okay looking at the daily chart first and foremost holding resistance here okay on the uh, cac itself you have this key diagonal trend line resistance so looking for the cac to hold resistance and again like i said you have gaps below as well in the french cac so you have a gap here and uh, you have gaps and gaps. Okay, so again, looking for those two gaps to certainly close on the downside. 60-minute chart, the French CAC, especially given the political uncertainty. You do have one uh, final unfilled gap around the 4920 that you need to be aware of. Okay, those are trading. There is a gap on the French CAC at 4920. 60-minute chart certainly is showing a bear flag formation. And again, like I said, you are targeting the, the gap below. Okay, so just keep an eye on that gap. In terms of the 10 minute chart, the French CAC, again, you're trading sideways, no higher highs thus far. So, looking for a lower high, you're looking to potentially put in a double top at 4905. Bear in mind the unfilled gap at 4920, and then looking to potentially target the gap below. So, especially the uh, political uncertainty via uh, Le Pen 
in France, probably one of the weakest indices from my perspective in terms of political uncertainty. The FTSE 100 still defying the odds. Uh, initially, you had Rolls Royce, so certainly earnings were weaker until we actually managed to uh, turn around, okay? And the turnaround was uh, generally, uh, well, certainly sparked by the weaker uh, inflation print. So certainly something to uh, consider there as well. So bear that in mind, okay? So weaker inflation print, certainly helping the uh, the actual uh, FTSE 100 itself uh, at present uh, and thereby negating the uh, BOE's hawkish uh, also, well, be always hawkish stance certainly encourage them to be more dovish. So, FTSE 100 certainly uh, rising on the back of that. Okay, in terms of the 60 minute chart, you're looking at potential double top, seeing that holds now 7298. I was actually short the FTSE, um, I've been stopped out now. Okay, uh, 7292 minus 30, FTSE minus 30. Okay, so stopped out on the FTSE, certainly rallying here. Okay. Uh, 10 minute chart on the FTSE 100 again you are looking at double top now 7298 as a potential resistance i was expecting this hns reversal to occur that certainly has failed i was expecting this bear flag to be triggered that certainly failed as well and it certainly seems like the uh, the hawkish or should we say a dovish argument the FTSE certainly is helping with the with obviously uh, sterling lower as well okay so that certainly seems to be a scenario at present in terms of the FTSE again watch for resistance at 7298 or 7300 if that fails then to hold then you are looking to potentially move higher on the FTSE uh, up to the uh, key resistance at 7330 3340 and 7350 on the FTSE 100 bringing up the euro now euro stocks okay bringing up the euro stocks at present still looking for that 5 75 percent resistance a hold on the euro stocks looking for weakness here okay moving on to the 60 minute chart uh, again looking for further weakness with the gaps below that certainly needs to be closed uh, and daily chart certainly is indicating the same message okay and the 10 minute chart certainly looking for a lower high and potential double top to hold as well Again, the unfilled gap remains uh, in play at 3270, especially with the political uncertainty in Europe. Okay, I think that's a good summary of European markets thus far. Uh, please be sure to visit CFDs.com for your trading needs. Goodbye now.